Hello everybody and welcome to today's episode of Grinding the KC Cup February 2021 edition. So, uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna stop with the off-screen grinding, at least for the remainder of the week. Or at least until stage 2 starts, since... Well, the jump was just too big. Like, seriously, I was winning, winning, winning. As you can see, I pretty much... I... The win-loss ratio isn't that great. It's still 57 or 53% win, win rate, but it's still good enough. Uh, we just started into the level 16, so... Let's go. Level 15 is one of the safe spots from which you cannot level down. The next is the level 17, which we are going to try and get to today. What the fuck is going on? Okay. There was something going on outside my window. Okay, this is... This is decent. So, ally of just in quarantine. I draw. So, I'll just summon Welp. Activate Welp's effect. What are you going to do? I can't special summon light monsters. But this is a dark machine, so there's a very high chance that this is going to be a Desperado deck. But Desperado is usually played with Sartorius. So using that on Luna is interesting to say the least. Okay, let's use Welp's effect. To summon Blader and attack. We don't want this quarantine over. Oh, there's the Karma Cut. Okay, so we Karma Cut the Karma Cut. Okay, that is that is fine. That is fine. Show me what you've got. Okay, a spiritual beast tamer window. Now take the damage. But I'll save myself from this one. Okay, so I'll use draw and slide since there's 33% chance of me drawing wood into well. Oh. So I'll set sage and pass. Okay, that's a window. My stage is destroyed. I'll take this window's attack. And let's Kytroid this quarantine. Okay, perfect. I activate Draw Sense Light. And this time I am sure to draw well. Welp's effect activates. Okay, so you win. Damn it. Okay, okay, it's fine. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. I think we'll need at least one more loss to... The level down, and we're doing against blue eyes now, so this should be okay. Ultimate dragons. God fucking damn it! I activate emblem. I think I lost this one. 
Because I have to summon Sage. To get... <coughs> oh, jeez. To get my hands on this guy. If I'm... If I would have a turn... If I get a turn after this... If he doesn't OTK totally me, then I'm golden. Okay, that's a Sage. Okay, White Stone of Ancients. It's fine. Cards of Consonants. Okay. This is fine. Okay, what are you going to do now? So... You cannot crash your sage into my sage, it'll do nothing. You get the blue eyes at the end of the turn. And that is probably a karma cut. Yeah, he's going to summon the Spirit Dragon. And one of those cards is Battle Phase, but that won't help. Level 0 monsters cannot destroy each other in battle. Attack 0 monsters, not level 0. And now End Phase. And Spirit of Ancient Stone of Ancients summons Spirit Dragon. Okay. And Dragon Spirit of White banishes the DNA surgery that I have set. Nothing really interesting. So let's draw. Okay, this is a very good draw. We're gonna switch Sage to Defense. And summon Whelp. Whelp's effect will trigger. What are you going to do about this? Okay, so I will add Destruction Swordsman Fusion and activate it. What are you going to do about this? I think he'll either have a... He's even, he either has a comma cut or he'll wanted to activate the effect of Dragon Spirit White, but I... I'm 90% sure it's Karma Cut. Come on, drop it. Drop it. Okay, I'll use Welp's effect then. To summon back this Buster Blader. I could, I could Synchro Summon, but that would be counterproductive, so what I'm going to do is get rid of this final Sage to get my hands on Fusion. Oh! So he's in an interesting conundrum. I'm 90% sure he has Karma Cut. But I'm also rather sure that he has a dragon in his hand. So if he Karma Cuts and sends a dragon to the graveyard... Oh, sending a spell. Good call. Good call. Okay, and that's a Raigeki break. Okay, your move. Okay, now it's interesting. Like I said, I was pretty sure he had a dragon in his hand. 
but I didn't expect him to have both a Karma Cut and Raigeki Break. If I think he's going to get back his alternative White Dragon, use its effect to destroy my Sage, and then Synchro into something to attack me. Like the blue eyes, no, not the Jure eyes, spirit dragon, blue eyes spirit dragon. That's probably what's going to be. Yep, there's the blue eyes spirit dragon. And the face down. Okay, that this is fine. This is perfectly fine. Because I can do this. Veil is back, and I am healed. And I activate my Draw Sense Light skill, allowing me to get my hands on Whelp. Whelp is then summoned. I get my hands on the Destruction Swordsman Fusion. And I will activate Welp's ability. Welp will tribute itself, and that is probably a Karma Cut. And I will summon Buster Blader to the field. I will set one fusion, just in case. I'll set one fusion, and now I'll attack with Buster Blader. And I'm pretty sure he's going to activate this um, trap card, which is probably Karma Cut or Raigeki Break. Which is perfect, because now I'll activate Destruction Swordsman Fusion. With this, even if you'll try to dodge it, the chain will will, re <coughs> will resolve backwards, so he'll still have a dragon for me to fuse with. So there goes Buster Blader and Azure Eyes. And now I fusion summon the Buster Blader, the dragon dude, very big dude. Okay. So, He's pretty much dead once he summons a monster. I draw. Okay, I drew into a Buster Blader. Okay, your move. We're in this interesting conundrum now. Where I draw every Buster Blader, but I don't have any fusions left. Okay. Draw. Perfect. I'll place a face down and pass your move. Now I activate my face down card, DNA surgery, and I'm calling dragons. Let's draw the final whelp. So this is summoned. Whelp's effect is activated. Buster Blader is reborn. And attacks directly for game. Amen. Perfect. That was perfect. Okay. So we're at so during this episode we're at a loss and a win. So that's it's meh. I would I would like to end an episode not Having more wins than losses, but I don't know if that would be possible. Oh, Jade and Bell. I wonder what it's going to be. Okay. Hmm.
I'll activate Mausoleum of the White. Summon Sage. And get my hands on Whelp. Summon well. Get my hands on the Traction Sword and Fusion. Set that card and pass. So I'm thinning my deck pretty much at this point. I'm 90% sure that... Ooh, Photon Cerberus. Interesting. Interesting. That way, travel this card is face up on the field. Okay. This is interesting. Psychic Nightmare. And call what type it is. Monster Spell Trap. We call it right. What is this? Oh, jeez. I lost. I lost. Okay. I'll take it. I'll take it. That was an inter that that was interesting. Kudos. Kudos. Kudos, my friend. Okay. So what we've got here? And we've got Yami Yugi, so Dark Magician, if anything. Necro Valley. And a Goki Twist Cobra. Oh jeez. Hmm. So I'll summon Buster Well. Activate its effect. To get my hands on the fusion. Activate Welp's ability. To summon Buster Blade. Ah. Okay, there's the Floodgate Trap Hall. Which is fine. I'll place a face down and pass. Okay, the Cosmic Cyclone. Which is fair. Oh, that was the thing I didn't want you to draw into. This is bad. This is very, very bad. Okay, so he's passing. Which is good for me. Okay, so I'll summon Whelp, activate Whelp's effect, and get my hands on a fusion. I'll tribute said Whelp for a blader. And I'll pass. Shit, I don't have a dragon. I have 25% chance of... Ah, uh, damn it, another cobra. This is bad. This is very, very bad. My cobra is a hard one to turn or soft? Okay. Soft ones per turn, okay. So I have 25% chance of winning this one. Shit, that's a sage. Okay, so at this point, I, I pretty much lost this duel. Since I cannot summon from the graveyard thanks to Necro Valley. I wouldn't have been able to revive a Buster Blader even if I drew into 
a DNA surgery. Since the card I needed in that particular moment was DNA surgery. And if we lose, we go level down to level 15. Spell specialist. God damn it! Oh, lunar lights! With blue eyes. Light swan, lunar light. Okay, that's a Raiden. Okay. I'll tell you what that needs the most. That needs a Whelp or a Fusion. So one of five cards. About 30% chance of drawing into one of those. Fuck. Uh, that will be a 3200 attack point. No, I'm not taking any chances. I'm s I would have summoned Sage if I had a Veil in hand, but since I don't, there's no reason for me to summon Sage, since it would have been banished anyway, and all he would need was a monster of 800 or more attack points. Okay, Magical Mallet. Interesting choice. Okay, so you got your hand back. Any good in it? Is it any good? Um, Sage only activates upon normal summon. Oh, and that's 11 year. And that is a loss. That was a loss. Like I said, if I had, if I actually had a veil, I would have been able to protect myself and get myself a whelp, or at least make the chances much higher. Well, I would have normal summoned the sage, and so I would get whelp regardless. Uh. Okay, so if you win, you'll do level up. Okay, this is decent. What you got for me, Kite? Okay, so he's either going to summon... Oh, I think I know what he's going to summon. And you're getting advanced, sir, and you'll exceed summon Starly's Lord Galaxion. And detach two materials to summon a Galaxy Ice Photon Dragon directly from your deck. Yep. Called it. Unfortunately for you, I am the worst matchup. Okay, so you've got a card set. Galaxy Photon. Oh, Photon Stream of Destruction. And only after it during your turn, unless you control a Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon. And I draw into DNA Surgery. First things first, I activate Destruction Swords and Fusion. 
this is the only time you can actually use the photon stream on destruction destruction during my turn since it won't be live anymore. Oh, 